Hey everybody, welcome to my, to my channel. If you're watching my video for the first time, welcome. My name is Martina and for my regular viewers, welcome back. And thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for um, subscribing and thank you for commenting. I, commenting. I really appreciate that. Okay, today I want to show you um, how to prepare, how to create your adult coloring book using Google Slides. Now I did a video before um, uh how to prepare the adult coloring books using powerpoint 2007 that's what i've been using and i got this question i've been getting questions about how um, about the google slides and i've never used it before so i said you know i really need to, to work on this so that's what i'm going to show you today i'll leave a link for my previous video how i do it in the powerpoint presentation i'll leave a link for that in the description box below and also in the end screen of this particular video okay so let's get cracking with this all right so we're gonna um come up with um google slides now google slides is basically similar to powerpoint in my opinion so i have my google screen here google.com and we look for this little box uh area here with a bunch of different boxes this uh, this has all the different um apps as google google has different google products so i just click on this this option and uh, um, we're going to click on more and we're going to go to even more from Google. And remember, we're looking for Google Slides, we're looking for that particular app. Now we'll see here we have Google Slides. We just click on Get Started. And now you have different ways you could use the Google Slides. You could have it on your desktop, um, download your computer, or you can use it on the web right i prefer to use it on the web i don't really want to download anything on my, on my computer so i'll click on use on the web okay so this is the next screen that you would see so what we're going to do we're going to click on blank create a blank first blank slide okay so here we go so this is a new presentation and um, we are i'm starting with blank blank slides to start it off right so the first thing we're going to do we're going to change the size of this first slide for our presentation, right? As you can see, basically, so far it looks basically, basically like how it looks on our PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint. So we're going to change the size of this particular slide. Okay, so we're going to File, and we're going to use Page Setup. And what um, I'm going to do is to customize the size of the slide to I'm going to use 8 as the width and a height of 10. Now the both size the, the size of the book we really going to create with create space it's um eight and a half by eleven but for things like I said before for, for things to work good um, with create space without having any error messages this is the size that I use and it works really good for me eight eight inches in width and ten inches in height. Okay so the next thing I want to, okay, so I want to have a clean slide, so I'll just click on this box, press delete, click on that box, press delete. Okay, so now I'm going to save this file, I'll just click on this box here and give it a name. Okay, that's saved. All right. So before I go any further, I want to show you an image. I'm just this is just an example that I'm doing for you, right? So I'm going to show you an image that I'm going to use for this particular test. So let me just click on my image here. So this is my image, one of my images that I'm going to use. As you can see here, there's some white space around the image. That's what I when I normally look for my images, um, I make sure that there's there's a lot of white space at the edges. Um, if you're doing your drawings for yourself, make sure there's um this white space at the at the edge. If not, I'm going to show you how you'll have to resize your image to get it to fit on your page without having any problems with create space. Okay, so let's get back to and before and then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to resize this image. So I'm going to bring up this image in paint.net. That's what I use um, normally, right? I downloaded this from the site paint.net. So I'm going to almost open the image. I have it saved on my desktop already. Go. All right, so let's go into image. Let's look at the size of this image. Image size. Okay, you can see here this is the width 7.67 and 
six five in um in height, right? And the resolution is ninety six. Now this is very important when you're uploading your images to your book with images that the resolution must be um, three hundred DPI um for the least right um otherwise you'll get rejections um but what happened is that i noticed that um create space will still accept your images but the resolutions would be very poor okay so they at least they warn you right so we're going to make a change the first thing we need to do for this image to fit snug into our slides right we're going to change the width to let's see it's eight by ten sorry Eight, ten. Now let me just show you. This. Somebody asked me about this. Now, if you click on maintain um, aspect ratios, if I change this to eight, um, this will automatically change what it thinks it will work out to be. Let me just change it back to nine. I see change here to eleven point three two. Let me just change it again for you to see. If I change it to six. It automatically changed the height to seven point. Five, five. Now, I don't want that. I want to put in my width and height that what I want it to be. So I uncheck here, right? So if I put in the width to be, what did I say again? Eight. <laughs> and the height to be 10, I have control. You see that? Okay, so nothing will change unless I change it. Now, that's for the width and the height of the, this, the, the image, okay? Now, the resolution, I'm going to change that to... 300 even though down here changes we're going to get back to that okay i'm going to put it at 300 to facilitate our increased space requirements and i'm going to come back here and put this at eight width and height at 10. okay so you see we have that there resolution of 300 dpi and width um print size with an eight eight inches and height at, at 10 inches Okay, lovely. So that's our image right there, all nice and set. I'm going to save this. Lovely. Okay, so we formatted our image to... 300 dpi and for the size of it in our book okay okay so i'm here i am at my um on my blank document blank presentation with google slides right so remember we just formatted um one of the images so i could do this test to show you right so i'm going to insert that image now into this first slide so we're going to insert click on image Now, since we're using the, 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 the um, web version of this particular app, right, we'll have to upload the image to Google Slides. So I'll click on choose an image to upload. And then I'm going to search for my image. This is one I just formatted. Okay, as you can see here, my image fits snugly onto my page. Um, my, without, any, without, without having to make any sort of adjustments, right, which would I like. And you can see here the space around the image, um, that blank space is what is required um, for um, create space. You don't really want the image to reach to the edge of the page, otherwise you'll have problems. Um, I don't really know exactly what, I think they call it bleeding or something like that, right? But anyway, try and let the image get to the edge of the page. If you if it, if you do, you'll have to make these images pretty um, reduce the size of the image. So instead of eight by ten, make it seven by nine, so that the image wouldn't reach the edge here. And when you upload it to Create Space, everything should work fine. Okay, right. So that's all set. So all we need now to just create more pages and add more images. So, right. So what I'm gonna do just for make it easy for everything to, for you to understand easily. What I will do, the next thing to do, um, I'll create a blank, instead of blank split slide. So we're going to say a new slide. Right, so as you can see here, uh, let me see, I don't really want this, but I'll show you what I did for that. Let me just try something else. Let's try next slide. So this is like the one to go from next to previous. Okay, we don't really want that. Okay. Okay, so we have... A blank slide after the first slide with the image on it right and I'll create another slide 
what I will do here, I'll just take off this, click on this, delete that, click on this blank spot, delete that, right? Okay, so what I'll do next now, I'll set more slides, I'll duplicate this slide, right? So right now I'm on this slide, so I'm going to duplicate this slide, right? So we have three slides here. So what I want to do, what I'm trying to achieve here now, I have a slide with an image, a blank page, and then a slide with another image, right? So what we want to do, we want to have a blank page after each page with an image, right? That's what we're trying to achieve because you don't really want um you don't really want a drawing on one side and then one to the back side because you find that the when you're coloring the images it will bleed to the other side sometimes, but it doesn't really look too nice. So I prefer to have one drawing on um one page and that's it, right? So that's what you're gonna achieve here. So just like I said, for easy um, easy going for this particular video, I'm going to insert this another image, the same image on this particular page, right? So I'm just going to insert image. Well, let me see. We already have this one uploaded already. Bam. Search. Make it easier. Just going to search. Okay. Okay, so you see the trend here on this side, what we are trying to achieve. We have a, a slide with an image, a blank slide, and a slide with an image, and you keep on doing that until your book has been completed. Of course, you must have a minimum of 24 pages um, to be able to qualify to upload your book to create space. And um, before this first page with the slide with the image, um, what I like to do, put like a introduction with copyright um, information or disclaimer or maybe a little note to your people who buy your book you know just to say a thank you for buying my book things like that you know uh, and then on the last page now what I like to do for my books I like to um to insert a page with um images of my previous my other um with my other books that I may have let me just show you an example what I have done before Okay, this here is an image that I created, right? It's basically a page, and I inserted some images of the other books that I have, um, adult coloring books that I have, and I made it like an image, right? And I inserted this image into one of the slides of my book. Um, on the last page, last slide of my book. Now, the objective of this is to be able to, to let my readers see what other books I have available, and also to what I like to do, I will put, insert the, um, Web, my website address so people could check up my website and see what i have available so it's like a marketing strategy that you could use to like get people to buy more books or check out your website whatever you want to do things like that as you can see i have a little note other other adult coloring book you may be interested in they are available in 8.5 8 8 by 11 and 6.9 sizes right so you could customize this however that you like like i said i added it to the back of the book the very last page to the back of this of my coloring books i do this for all my different coloring books is a again it's a marketing strategy that i like to use and it's, that is very effective okay so the next thing we need to do is of course save our document or presentation right so we click on this particular box here and i'll just change this to So when you're done your book and it's 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 ready it's 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 ready to be uploaded to create space you have all the information you need to have all the images you may have your last page where you want to promote your other books if you have and maybe like a little introduction to the first part of the book and things like that and of course you must have a minimum of 24 pages for your book um you have to save this book as a pdf so let me show you how to do that I'm going to file but how um this app does it you'll have to download it as a PDF right so you're going to file and you go to download download as and download PDF right just click on that and we'll download your file to your computer as a PDF right and that's basically it so I hope you enjoyed this video and it's very helpful to you guys um, if you have any questions feel free to contact me I'll try to answer you as as best as I can and yeah and don't give up on your project of doing these adult coloring books I think it's still very popular um, 
I have quite a few books on different um, themes, coloring books, but one in particular is doing very, very well. And the others, um, I never really get much sales, but I haven't given up, you know. But of course, I don't really have the encouragement to do much more because um, only one of them in particular is doing very well. But keep on your, on your, on your journey of, um, if you want to publish your adult coloring book and, you know, see what happens, you know, give it a try. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.